A very nice variation to stretch the piriformis with the client prone and using a leg contact is to do something called pin and stretch. The idea is this. If I simply stretch the piriformis, as we've already shown, the entire right side piriformis gets the stretch. Sometimes what happens is one area of the piriformis, let's say the medial aspect, is looser than the more lateral aspect, and it absorbs that stretch, and we don't effectively get a good stretch at the more lateral toward the femoral attachment end. Pin and stretch allows us to focus the stretch to a region of the target muscle. So very often the way it's done, I'll demonstrate this using a thumb contact, and do notice that I keep my upper extremity, hold that there Marianne, I keep my upper extremity joint stacked, you never want to torque the thumb this way, is I can use my thumb to pin right off of the sacrum, and then I bring her into medial rotation, and the stretch will occur between the pinpoint and the attachment that moves the femur. Then I move successively closer to the femur. I place the pin and I stretch her. Now the stretch is better focused to this area here. I move successively along closer to the greater trochanter, femoral attachment, and I pin and stretch. And I can simply go along the line of the muscle and as I get closer to the femoral attachment, the stretch becomes more and more focused and more powerful. Something else to do here is to turn this into an active release technique where she actively moves, and when she moves into the motion pattern of medial rotation, it adds in a reciprocal inhibition reflex to our target muscle, the piriformis, so we get an even more effective stretch. So I pin on the piriformis. Marianne, you move your leg outward at the end, relax, and I supplement and add a stretch. Bring you back, place the pin, go ahead, out, 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 at the end, relax, and I add a stretch. Place the pin, go ahead and move, relax at the end, I add a stretch. When doing pin and stretch, a nice alternative to the thumb contact would be to use our elbow. We need to have the table higher. I've already raised the table for this. I'll bring you up here, Marianne. I'll get a good stable stance with my feet. I find the sacral attachment right here of the piriformis. I lean in with my elbow right there. And now I can bring you into the stretch or I can have you actively perform it. Go ahead, and at the end, relax, and I stretch you more. And then I would successively move from the sacral attachment, end of the muscle, toward the greater trochanter femoral end attachment. Because we're better using our body weight here and the elbow is a larger contact, it's more powerful and more effective as a means of performing pin and stretch. But because it's such a powerful contact, it's important to not press too hard. We do not want this to be uncomfortable for the client.